What's up, everybody? Welcome to ToolsNatchy.com. Today, we're going over something from uh, Skill. Skill Saw. No, it's Skill. Skill Saw. I understand. That's This is a Skill Saw, but it's from Skill. Skill Saw. Skill is the company. It's Skill Saw. Skill I'll tell you, the company. Skill is the company. Dude, it says Skill Saw right there. Right on the front right here, Skill Saw. But it's Skill is the company. No, it's not Skill Shore okay. for it. The real company is Skill Saw. Okay, whatever. Like you know what you're talking about. No, I don't, but I'm just guessing. Um, you guys, Skill Skill Saw is known Thank in, you. The quotes really help. I'm yeah, liking it. It's known in the industry for what? Worm drive? Worm drive, man. They're the ones yeah. who built America. It was one of the first saws out there. It's a Circular badass. Saws. Yeah, you know. And they're, you know, one of the toughest ones. With the worm drive, it's giving you that extra torque. Instead of the direct drive, you're getting that worm drive. It's giving you that, uh, better torque and longevity. What they've done is they've taken that gear drive and put or worm drive and put it into a table saw. So what's that going to give us, Eric? A lot more power. It's one of the ones, now I don't know if they've had a table saw it before, but when I first saw this, I was really interested to try it. Um, power, I mean, that's what you need when you got a table saw. And before we forget, the model number on this is SPT70WT22. What I like about it, you guys, is the actual simplicity. Um, it's a very small, compact saw, but it's a beast underneath with the power that it can produce. Comes with a Diablo blade. We always love yes. when stuff comes with Diablo blade. Pretty much any Bosch product now comes with Diablo blades. So right out of the box, it's ready to go, ready to go rip it on the job sites. Uh, and if you look at it right away, the first thing that I thought of when I saw it, when Eric put it together, I'm like, ah, that thing looks rickety and rackety, you I, know? Yeah, I thought the same thing with the stand because I really love the gravity stand and all that. Right. I love some of those stands out there. I but, saw the stand and I didn't think it was going to be too. But it too. is one of the most stable stands we've seen on a on a table saw yet. It's a great stand. I don't know if you can see it from there, but we'll do an overview. The legs don't just come straight down. They come down at an angle, so it gives it more Right, and one of the legs area. you can extend out to kind of keep stability going. Yep. But I got to say, so that's going to aid you. If you have a big three-quarter inch piece of plywood, you're not going to have to worry about this saw getting all rocky on you and tipping over or anything no, like that. No, it's a nice, I mean, yeah. it is stable. They did a nice job with it. It is very stable. It. Great job. And the simplicity of the stand also is two clips, boom. It, it disconnects, and you're in your truck. And I know yes. you were bitching about the gravity stand ones because they're a bitch to put in by yourself. Yes, if you got truck. the gravity stand that dewalts some of those other ones, yes, you got a lot of weight, it's a lot harder to do. This one is two pieces, boom, you throw it in, um, even the stand locks together, and it's very easy to set up too. Yeah, so. even if you have a tonneau cover on your pickup truck, you're going to be able to put this underneath it. It's going to slide right in. Very nice. Easy stuff. Um, what's the warranty on something like this, Eric? <clears throat> I'm not sure. We'll get that in a second. Another big thing I really like about this that you don't see on a lot of table saws is the actual fence. Once you put the fence on, it's sturdy. We've seen other ones where the fence will move just a tiny bit, enough to mess up your work. This one, once it's on there and you have it locked down, awesome. You know? Yeah, it definitely, I agree with Eric on that. It's a straight fence. I like yes, that. Yeah. I know what you're saying on some of them, because some of them you make a cut, you're like, it's off. What the heck's going on? It's just it won't stay true. Yeah, usually the back will move a tiny bit. I mean, this one locks into place really well. Yeah, it's a pretty good. Now, what was the warranty? I don't know. Look on the box. Why don't you do something? Because I'm here to look pretty. I don't know, dude. Can't you put it underneath? Does it say on the sign on the wall in there? I don't know what it is. You know what? We had this problem before, you guys, with the warranty. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't stay on the box. But you know, the bottom line is, you know, Dan's going to look it up and we'll put it underneath. We <laughs> so say, but it probably won't happen. The bottom line is, is a worm drive has been around for a long time. Skill saw, like Dan was saying, invented it. It's true. It's tried. The thing's a beast. I mean, I don't have yeah. any problems. And you can see, we went through, I mean, <coughs> what is it, a four by six that we went through? And it goes through and you don't hear it bogging down. I mean, this thing just wants to just slice it up, especially like Dan was saying with that Diablo blade. They're great blades along with a great motor. I mean, it basically cuts it like butter. Right, we even ran off a generator for a little bit yeah. and uh, it ran fine. Um, yep. Like I said, it's a really good saw. Now, how does it compare price-wise to the big boys? I mean, it is I a big I think it's boy. on par. You know, I think it's on par. I don't know the exact the price of it. So you can tell in terms of numbers, we didn't do research on that, but I believe it's around <laughs> par. It's why, totally an action, why guys. Why are you guys even watching? Yeah, I don't even know. No one is anymore. <laughs> no, you guys, first impressions of the saw is definitely like it. He likes it a lot. Definitely just seeing it in the box, I was a little skeptical. But after getting it, running it, the stability of it, for any big job site cuts, this is the saw I'm going to want to go to. Yeah, and the guides and the, all the stuff's easy to put on. Yeah. It's simple. It reminds me of the Bosch one. So. Well, yeah, it's kind of their... 
Well, I know, yeah. but sometimes it, companies don't always talk to each other, but I think with this one, they did a great job. Yeah, I think they have these things now where they have cans with strings from office to office. <laughs> where they say, hey, Bosh, Sp yes, yes, Skill, what's up? Hey, got... we're using Diablo blades. Uh, okay, Sweet. hold on, let me get Diablo. They have a little operator that sits downstairs with cans yeah. with strings, and she's like, hello, Diablo. This is Diablo, go ahead. You Diablo. got SpaghettiO cans, you still got SpaghettiO in there, <laughs> yeah. Diablo, can we use your blades on skill saws? Yeah. I, wait, I thought it was skill, not skill saw. Yeah. But it's another thing too, even if you don't want the stand, you want to set it up on a table, you, I mean, you can do it on that too. It does have, I mean, I believe- Stability, you guys, look at that. That's stable. Yeah. It, it's a great saw and it's, we just actually moved it, we didn't even set that uh, fourth uh, leg up tight, you know. <laughs> we didn't. Man, man. I learned so you. much. From Tools in Action? <laughs> guys, you're never going to learn more than Tools in Action, Here you know? guys, if you learned anything from this video, just wear safety glasses. Exactly. <laughs> we got it. one thing down. Wear safety glasses. I'm really trying to think something that I don't like about the saw, and I really nothing, can't think nothing. of something that I'm like... I'd like to see this metal. Oh, it is metal. It is metal. <laughs> it's a lightweight magnesium, though, yeah. I think, actually. I thought it was plastic. I don't care. Even if that's plastic, it doesn't bother me, you know. Okay. It's... I'm trying to be like, huh, well, let's see. I'm trying to think of things that I don't like. You know, even if it's got a smooth thing like across here, some of you feel a nice dips down, it's, you know, Yeah, so you're it's not, smooth, you're you know. Not, you know like, especially on the back, sometimes when you're cutting smaller pieces, you'll hit the back back here. This but... definitely gives the DeWalt 744XRS a run for the money. Heck <clears> yeah, <throat> without a doubt. Because that used to be one of our favorite saws, you know, just the stability of it. We give it an award. It was just a great saw. But, I mean, since this came along, obviously this is going to have more power with that worm drive system mm -hmm. going. Um, it's a but, nice setup, yeah. and I think Skill saw did a nice job with it. Yeah, I, I can't think. Did it really the only thing bad about it is we don't know what the warranty is. Yeah, other than that, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and that's his that's fault. A, that's my he fault. Should, he should have looked it up. <laughs> yeah, right, of course guys, it falls back on me. You guys, we're doing a... Uh, um, Video? No, we're doing a poll for adult diapers. If you wear adult diapers, please click the dislike button. Yes. If you like this video, click, click like. Don't forget to subscribe to Tools in Action. Don't forget to hashtag TIA crew. And don't forget to comment below and let us know what you guys think about the skill. Or, or I'm sorry, skill saw, mm -hmm. table saw from skill saw. saw. I see. I, I like saw it. that see? coming. See, you learned something today. I like it. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com. <laughs>